Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. In today's video, we're going to be making a massive upgrade on one of our Kudra armor pieces. And in the process, we're going to be using a bunch of Infernal Tier Kudra keys. It should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited for this. Kudra is one of my favorite things to do in the game right now. And if you guys are excited for this, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below what your favorite boss fight is in the game. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Super quickly though, if you do find yourself checking on the Hypixel store for any of the remaining Fire Sale skins or rank or anything else that the store has to offer, don't forget to use my career code, code Zach, that's Z-A-C-H, just like my name, for 5% off your purchase. It's a great way to support myself and the channel, and you save a little bit of money on checkout, so it's a win-win, but I appreciate everyone who uses my career code. You guys are amazing. But without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. So today, I want to do some more Kudra. Since we uh, did the mining fiesta yesterday, I was able to get 164 mil. If you guys didn't see that video, go check it out. But we have some spending money for some dungeons and some Kudra. And Kudra gets quite expensive quite quick, which is why I, w I didn't do more runs last time. But this is all the Enchanted Red Sand I've saved up right now. I took out some Nether Stars, and we actually have some coins. So I figured today, you know what? Let's go ahead and buy as many Infernal Keys as we can. Use them. I mean, obviously, we're looking for God Rolls. I don't have any God Roll Aurora pieces yet, being Mana Regen Mana Pool. That would be amazing. Or even just, like, if we can get, like, another Mana Regen chest play of something, a Mana Pool 5 Leggings, and... Honestly, some better boots. Um, these are technically a type of god rule, though. So, I'm going to be honest. I, I would rewrite these, though. Like, I, I would get rid of these attributes if I got god rule Aurora Leggings. I, I don't think it's worth trying to upgrade two sets for me right now. If I get another god rule Aurora Boots in the future, that's fine. But this is only really good for me if I'm doing um, flares, which is something I want to do in the future. But, like, I'll still be able to do it with god roll aurora so that's like one of the main things we're looking for i guess but let's go ahead and uh buy some keys let's see how many we can get so one two three let's see how much this costs two four five six seven eight nine and yeah we can we can get nine keys and that was over 20 mil coins which is um painful painful to say the least but either way we have nine infernal kudra keys which is Quite hefty, so I say we go ahead and hop into some runs and see if we can get anything good with these. I'm going to do my best to make improvements to the gameplay today, I guess is the, the main thing I'm aiming for. Obviously, some bestiary levels are super nice. How far am I actually from my next boss? Oh, not even close. Not even close. Um, Yeah, this is uh, it's going to be a while until we can actually get our hands on epic Kudra Pet, which I honestly really want. Because the, the perks of the Kudra Pet are so good, man. Like... Look, look at this. Kudra Pet is so, like, underrated. Or I guess it's it's rated pretty fairly. But uh, where is the Kudra Pet? Um, I'm completely blind. It appears, oh, here it is. So, yeah. Um, the tier that you get, or the perk that you get at Epic, is increase the odds of fishing trophy fish by 20% level 100. And then for Legendary, uh, increases all damage to Kudra by 5%, which is amazing. And I'm pretty sure it, like... Uh, yeah, so also my next tier literally buffs like all my stats uh, all, all the other tiers like it's such a good pet I need to get this thing to legendary sooner rather than later. We'll work towards it But let me go ahead and find the party. Let's hop into some runs. We only have 800 essence on us, too So it'll be good to get some essence. We need a lot more Kudra teeth I think I need 50 for the next upgrade I'm looking at and I'm at 32 so maybe we can get that today as well Okay, we're about to finish our first run of the day your boys playing stun which is um, that's fun, right? Uh, lifeline Ooh, lifeline life regen. I'm gonna be honest. I'm just I'm not taking it. I, I don't care I'm not I'm not making a set of terror with it it. unless it's lifeline mana pool like then i'll grab it i guess but if it's not also i just i did the whole final phase in the wrong armor set that is very awkward i did my stun though okay i did my job but um yeah that, that's that's funny actually but anyways we're gonna go through this run here and i'll be back once we get to see what we got another run here coming to an end we had a really scuffed one before i did end up buying something but it was like a seven minute run i, I just didn't even want to record it i'm gonna be honest but um Let's see what we got for this one. Mana pool vitality on a helmet. I feel like I got to take that. Man, two helmets to start off the day, though, is not a uh, not a good look, I'm going to be honest. Like, here's the other helmet I got last run. It was a mana pool dominance 5 aurora helm. And then vitality 5 mana pool 4 hollow helmet. So, yeah, you got you to pick those up, I'm going to be honest. We're, we're working towards a terror helm at the same time, I guess. So, uh, I'll take the vitality. Or I could even use the mana pool, I guess, with this aurora helm make mana pool 5 get rid of the vitality so we'll have some options but i'm in no rush to uh upgrade those but 
yeah, on to the next run here. We got uh, seven more keys to use. Another uh, run here coming to an end. Honestly, I love, like, Kudra as a whole. I guess, like, gathering supplies is a little tedious and all that. But, like, this, like, final phase in Infernal Kudra is, like, so cool. I hope they do more stuff like this. Uh, another helmet. I'm going to pass on this one. I'm going to be honest. I don't really want Fortitude or Undead Resistance. So, i got Lifeline Mana Regen. Ooh, yeah, looking for that Mana Pool with it. Yikes, but uh, yeah, nothing for us from that run, but uh, we head on to the next one and uh, we get ready to go. Well, looks like someone's gonna do that one. I guess I'll do equals first. Another uh, more scuffed run in the books. Uh, Fortitude Speed. I'm pretty sure like you're supposed to buy speed on multiple. I'm just not going to though. I'm gonna be honest. I'm taking the free chest. I don't know. I just don't think that's worth it for me. Maybe I should have bought that. Someone let me know in the comments down below, but uh, let's get into the next run at least. But yeah, I, I don't know if this was worth buying. I really don't. Another uh, run, I guess you could say, coming to an end. A little bit of a more scuffed one, but you know what? As long as the runs get complete, uh, no complaints at all. And uh, yeah, we're almost done with this one. Did we get them? We did. Okay, beautiful. Let's see what we got here. Life regen, ender resistance. Man, I wish there was like any decent, anything decent on that chest plate. I would take it, but there, there just isn't. There isn't, unfortunately. We're going to have to take the free chest. Magifying Vitality Hollow. Oof. Yeah, that's uh, good attributes. I mean, I'd buy those. I would. Why not? Another run coming to an end. Uh, someone pointed out to me in the party that I was literally on the wrong Reforge all these runs. And um, yeah, that was tragic. So doing a lot more damage now, which is uh, very useful. Midas Touch Dead Eye 5. What? Um, we good. I'll take a free chest. Man, we haven't had to use many keys today, but we're getting some completions up. So I honestly can't complain, but... I'll take a god roll next run. Why not, right? Ooh, okay. Mana region, breeze, leggings. I will actually take that. We'll go ahead and take that. Um, yeah. Wait, what was that? Bre mana region, breeze. What do I have on my aurora legs? Uh, neither of those. E either way, we'll, we'll need it eventually, so it it'll be good for a while. Ooh, okay. Mana region, breeze shard. I, I think I'll take that. I'm not going to lie. That, that isn't too bad. I'll take that. We got to go find a new person for the party, but... It could be worse things. I mean, I wish some of the like I wish this was a pair of leggings and of like Aurora and stuff like that. But it is what it is. We'll use it to uh, to combine with some other things. But let's go ahead and find a new party. I think we need stun, which is the most fun class to try and fill. Anyone who plays Kudra in those, um, yeah, finding a stun player is like a needle in a haystack, man. Another run coming to an end here. But someone in my party is wearing Mastiff armor for this. Is that like a meta I don't know about or something? I don't even know. That that's a first for me. First time I've ever seen someone rocking Mastiff armor for the boss fight. Ooh, Veteran Four on some boots. That I will take. Um, what am I up to? Veteran Five. Okay, so I do need another Veteran Four to be able to make those uh, useful, but. Still, I will take that. Veteran is veteran's always good, I feel, you know? So we'll go ahead and grab that, and uh, we'll head on into the next run. I've gone up, like, another four Skyblock XP from Bestiary Tears this morning, which is always nice. Always happy to see those go up. Um, yeah, it's just, like, actually free passive XP. So what's there to complain about, you know? Bestiary is, like, honestly, the state it's in, one of my favorite parts of the game. I think it's in a really good spot, and um, I'm not because I'm out of mana, and... Everything hurts oh so much, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to build this ballista, man, but I'm struggling. Like, I'm just getting knocked around. Where's our CC? Do we not have a CC? Please, someone someone clear and save me in the leg, and I'm dead. What is going on? That's why I don't record stuff, man. I, I, I haven't, I have, like, died once in, like, the last 15 runs, like, during this phase, and um, then the time I record, it's just like, nope, you're dead, you're gone. That's tough, you know. Another run coming to a close here. Uh, let's see what we can... Oh my god. Why? I, I don't like it when they do that. When the whole floor is just covered. It's like, what are we doing? Uh, mana pool on the helm. I mean, eventually I do want, like, a maxed out Aurora helm. So that is a part of it. We'll go and grab that, I guess. Oh, someone got a Kudra core. Oh, I want one so bad. GG's, GG's. On to the next run. We only have two more keys left to use. So uh, let's see if we can get something cool with them. Another run about to be done. Um, oh, what is... Oh my goodness. Yeah, trying to keep track of the floor sometimes. It's too early in the morning, the time I'm recording this for this. Like, can we just... Let's just chill. Let's just chill, okay? And uh, I've also learned these orbs are dangerous. Gotta get them out of here. There we go. And he should be about done. There we go. Beautiful. And let's see what we got for it. Are we using another key? 
Breeze four, dominance five on the boots. Life recovery, interesting. Uh, honestly, yeah, I'm taking that just for the dominance. I know dominance isn't really like the meta anymore, but honestly, I'm sticking to it. I'm committed. We we got one more key we can use. Let's see if uh, next runs the run we use it. And that's it. Vi Mana pool four shard, vitality four leggings. Uh, that was my last key. Oh, he's trying to give me a tip. That's it. That's tough, bro. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Um, yeah, nah. I'm actually curious. Let me ask what, what he's gonna say. Okay, yeah, no, they're just telling me to run and jump when I get down here, which is which is usually what I do. But um, honestly, I was tapping out to something when we when we dropped down here because I was waiting for it all to start, and um, like I was opening back up my recording software, and I died. Uh, not gonna lie, I died from my recording soft. Where, yeah, it was it was kind of brutal. Literally spawned out here, and it was like right away, just like nuked me right here. But I didn't have like a chance to reply because I was tapping my recording software back up. It, but yes, I do know the jump when you spawn down here right away. So appreciate the tip. That, that's too funny. I know exactly what he was talking about. I literally died that last run as soon as we dropped down to the final area, and I was trying to open my recording software. I just get nuked. I got it brutal. The the things you gotta do for YouTube, man. But. Either way, we have some exciting upgrades today, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, let me go ahead and gather all this up and see what we can do. But essence-wise, we should be getting our first fiery piece of armor, which is pretty exciting to me. So first thing I want to do today is uh, our Aurora. I want to upgrade a little bit more. I think we're going to go ahead and make my Aurora chestplate fiery Aurora. Which is pretty exciting. It should be our first fiery piece, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, just going over top of everything. We got a lot of burning. The fact that these are still hot is really sad, too. I need to get those up to so something better. And then my terror, I've just been waiting for some better rolls on some of these things. Like, look, this is the terror I'm rocking in the god fight. Like, I know, in the boss fight. Like, I know it's mainly based on uh, the attributes and uh, the reforge. So it doesn't really matter too much if I don't have enchants on it. But... I mean, I definitely need to get this above base tier terror, you know what I mean? So, we, we still have a lot of essence we need, but uh, slowly but surely, we will get it done. And first thing we're going to do to get that done is this massive upgrade to a loving, fiery Aurora chestplate. 4,500 Crimson Essence, 50 Kudra Teeth, and 10 million coins. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of the base stats, or the stat changes from uh, 10 starred Burning to 0 starred Fiery. So... The big one, the intelligence, 357.6, and then there's the plus 120. We go down here, it's going to be 370. Jeez, it's actually quite the jump. Look, over 600 health, 189 defense. Uh, up here, we're at 582 health, 182 defense. Um, true defense stays the same from true protection. Overall, just really good, really good upgrade. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this really quickly. This is quite pricey, but it has to be done. Boom. There we go. Our first fiery piece of, like, Kudra armor, I guess. That's actually sick. Happy to have that. And uh, then we're going to set ourselves up for our next fiery piece with our burning Aurora leggings. Let's go ahead and upgrade these things as much as, we, as, much as we can. I think we can 10 star them. I think we have, like, just enough to do this uh, to 10 star these things. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Beautiful. And then, obviously, the next tier... 50 Kudra Teeth, 4,500 Essence, so that'll be a, a work in progress right there. But, man, our Aurora is coming together. Fiery Aurora Chestplate, 10 Star Burning, and then uh, 4 Star Burning Boots. Can I put any stars on these, maybe? Let's go ahead and take a look. Um, I can. We'll make them 5 Star, 6 Star, how much Essence? 7 Star? How much Essence did I have? 8 Star? Oh my goodness, wait, we're actually killing it in the Essence Department. Okay, I'm I'm out. I can't I can't go any further. You don't have uh, enough crimson essence. Okay, man, I had way more essence than I thought I did. That's actually insane. We did so many upgrades. Those were like pricey ones too. There wasn't any like no cheap ones in there. Uh, what's my essence count? I still have twelve hundred ninety three uh, essence. Not bad. Um, should I upgrade anything? I mean, we could get this. You know, let's do the boots. Let's let's ten star the boots at least. I'm assuming I have enough for this. So let's go ahead and take a look. Upgrade. 90 that's actually insane yeah we'll do that and then how many teeth is it 10 kudra teeth i'm one i'm one kudra teeth short to get to hot tears but uh yeah man that that's like no essence wait let me let me like 10 star uh this terror chest play too like can i can i finish 10 starring this go ahead and slap this in here 80 nice 90 yeah okay this is this is pretty cheap on the essence front and then uh and now it's the upgrade to hot tier i still need to do that though that is 
Fraudulent. We'll have to we'll have to put some Kudra teeth towards these things, and I need to put some enchants on these. Man, we still have a lot to do with a lot of different armor sets, the main three we're working on, but I'm happy with where they're at, and eventually here, we're going to have to go back and uh, basically mine gemstones for all three of these sets, because all three of these sets deserve to have, like, perfect gemstones on all of them. These are, like, the three sets we're going to be using for, like, almost the rest of the game once we get them to a certain point, so gonna have to really put some work into them to make them the best that they can be but i'm really happy with those upgrades today let me see if there's anything i can do with the attribute front okay man trying to like track down attributes on like various pieces you have is like probably like the most brain numbing thing um but i have two vitality four uh leggings so i can make a pair of vitality five leggings and if i combine those with my old god roll terror i know but i can get vitality six which uh i think i'm gonna go ahead and do i think that all makes sense dominance is still at four there we go we'll go ahead and do that a little bit of an upgrade on the uh the terror leggings with some more vitality which is always nice then i do have some veteran on these leggings do i have any other veteran pieces in legging form veteran two but this is crimson god roll and terror leggings i might use in the future uh magic find four leggings um i could combine those with those just because i'm not gonna get lower tier attributes anymore but i don't know if that's the move yet it's hard to tell like when to upgrade what you know what i mean so um what do we have these are like lower tier attributes that's a, that's a whole nother problem too but man trying to like track down what to do with what like i have so many mana pools here on helmets but i don't have like a good helmet that i want to commit to and then i have like these veteran four boots but I have Veteran 5 on my um, Crimson Boots right now. So I need another Veteran 4 pair of boots, which I don't have. Uh, so, yeah, it's just... I'm just going to go ahead and tuck everything away for now. I, th I think that's all I could do. I'll have to check back next time. But I'll, 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 take, I'll take that progress for today. I mean, I'll, I'll take an upgrade on the, on the leggings. But either way, I'm, I'm still just very happy that we were able to actually get a piece to Fiery. And it's our Aurora chest plate, which is so dope. So yeah, this set just becomes better and better all around the game. And it's it's getting there. It is getting there. But yeah, hopefully we can get like a God Roll Aurora piece soon. That would be really sick that I can like commit to. Because right now I have my God Roll uh, Crimson Boots that I'm committed to. I'm considering these God Roll Terra Leggings that I'm committing to as well. And I, I'm also working on the Vitality on these Terra Boots. Ooh, Vitality on the Terra Boots. Do I have any other Vitality 5? dominance five on boots okay that's going towards terror dominance boots veteran boots veteran four uh veteran one i see it's just uh, i'm gonna head, i'm gonna get a headache if i try and like think about what i'm trying to do it's 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 too much and i have all these oh my goodness i forgot about this chest this is all like lower tier attributes too but i don't know what to do with them Oh, man, there's so much stuff to pay attention to. Oh, this, too. I forgot about this chest. Oh, my goodness. I think that's going to do it for today, though. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, overall, was able to finally get through all these Infernal Keys and all the red sand I had saved up. Basically, going to let my minions uh, chug away again. And when they have a decent amount for some more Infernal Runs, we'll do some more. I might toss down another red, uh, maybe one or two more red sand minions just to kind of speed up that process because... Kudra's honestly really fun. It's probably one of my favorite boss fights in the game. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below. And if you guys are enjoying the Kudra content. Or if you want me to get back on that dungeon grind. We're going to though with Mayor Paul coming up. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video all the way to the end. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Use code Zach when checking out on the Hypixel store. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.